Hello friends, this is Mechanics Paper 2021. We have already solved uh, the paper of 2019. So, this is for the physics honors students of BSc first sem. BSc first sem. So, what's all the videos made on 2019 paper? I have made four videos, what's all of them? So, which questions are already asked in 2019? If I get the same question, in this paper in 2021 i'm not gonna solve that right so please watch them uh, what's the video four videos on 2019 okay and i have solved uh, 2019 and 21 paper of mathematical physics also so check the playlist dibuga university question paper so now let's start before we start please uh, share the video with your friends and uh, if you are new to my channel please subscribe to the channel also hit the bell icon so that you get notified when new video will be uploaded so this is part one i will complete this paper uh, in three or four videos right so let's start so here you see so the correct option from the following so first one in galilean transformation time interval is different for different frames vector relative same for all so which one is correct which option is correct there are four options so which option is correct so that's going to be same for all frames so this last option is correct right now let's move on to b the negative work the negative the negative of work done by the conservative internal force of a, on a system is equal to change in uh, what are the options given potential energy kinetic energy total energy non of -able. so it's going to be potential energy that's going to be change in potential energy right this is the correct option okay so a sphere has a radius of five centimeter the radius of gyration about its diameter now you see the radius of gyration of a sphere about its diameter is given by this formula root 2 by 3 root 2 by 3 capital R where capital R is the radius of the sphere right so if you put the value here radius of uh, uh, radius of the sphere is given 5 centimeter right and if you put here then uh, root 2 by 3 its value is approximately equal to 0 0.82 and uh, the value of R is 5 centimeter here so if you multiply these two you will get approximately 4.1 so here it can be none of the above right the next one is the ratio of maximum acceleration to the maximum velocity of a particle performing simple harmonic motion is equal to so which option is correct so now you see for simple harmonic motion uh, we can write this equation so y is equal to a sine omega t so where a represents amplitude right so if you want to find a velocity v will be equal to dy by dt dy by dt right and if you differentiate y here you will get omega a cos omega t right derivative of sine is cos cos omega t so this is suppose equation number one so you uh, here from here you can write the maximum that uh, maximum velocity will be omega a only right so maximum velocity will be omega a v max will be equal to omega a this is suppose one right now how to find the acceleration acceleration will be dv by dt right that will be acceleration dv by dt if you differentiate this again uh, then what you will get will get omega square a uh, then minus sine omega t minus sine omega t right and derivative of cos is minus sine so minus sine omega t or you can write minus omega square a sine omega t so here uh, that uh, a max maximum acceleration will be given by so maximum acceleration here a max its magnitude is given by uh, omega square a so right so the ratio of maximum acceleration to maximum 
velocity so maximum acceleration to maximum velocity right if maximum velocity uh, maximum acceleration is omega a square a and maximum velocity is omega a now here a, a cancels then omega cancels omega a square so we have got only omega so here the first option is correct so hope you have understood this is omega right this is the first option this is correct now let's move on to next question so here you see what is reference frame give examples so this is the definition a system relative to which the motion of any object is described is called frame of reference that means the system uh, with respect to who is we use to determine uh, acceleration velocity time uh, those kind of things uh, distance uh, of a moving particle right or of a particle where we determine position of a particle that system is called frame of reference so here are the examples the motion of an object motion of the objects on the surface of the art is described relative to some point on it so uh, if you describe a motion of an ob object relative to any point on the art surface then uh, we're gonna say that our uh, this art is also itself a frame of reference the other example you can take here you see the frame of reference may be considered to be the walls of your room the position of stars along the plumb line the sun etc so these are the examples you can take so answer to the next question the moment of inertia is the rotational analog of the mass of a body explain the statement fully so here you see so here you see expression for linear momentum is given by m into v m into v whereas uh, angular momentum is given by angular momentum is given by i omega right so where i represents moment of inertia similarly the expression for uh, translational and rotational kinetic energies are half mv square and half uh, that uh, i omega square so here again i is the moment of inertia m is the mass so if you uh, compare these two formula uh, these two expressions uh, that uh, expressions for linear momentum and angular momentum then uh, linear kinetic energy and the uh, that for the rotational and kinetic energy and that you you can see that the moment of inertia takes the place of uh, mass and uh, that angular velocity omega takes the place of linear velocity v so that's why this statement says that uh, the moment of inertia is the rotational analog of mass of a body so hope you have understood this so so you, you can uh, pause the video to note the answers uh, right now let's uh, let's move on to next numerical problem the calculate the moment of inertia of a solid cylinder of radius 20 centimeter and length 10 centimeter about its own axis suppose we have a cylinder this is a cylinder of radius capital r is equal to 20 centimeter so we need to find the moment of inertia it's about its axis right so its length is given 10 centimeter right so here and density is given that uh, 9 gram per centimeter cube cc represents centimeter cube here so let me find the volume of the cylinder first so this is the volume and uh, here is the volume okay then volume uh, into density gives mass volume into density here 9 is the density and this is the volume and if you multiply that you will get mass so i have converted this one into kilogram then radius is given and i have converted the radius into the meter from centimeter to meter divided by 100.2 meter we have got so moment of inertia of the cylinder about its own axis is half m r i square and using that formula we have got approximately 2.3 kilogram meter square right so remaining questions will be solved in the next video so thank you for watching stay connected so uh, please uh, subscribe the channel if you haven't subscribed yet and share with your friends and hit the
thumbs up button and also hit the bell icon so that you get notified when new video will be uploaded.